Hey everyone. Um, earlier today, yeah, I'm about to go to bed by the way. But earlier today, I went over um, the what was left of Clint's comics. I told Claire I was going to go buy some uh, some books, and I bought quite a few of them. And I'm not going to uh, give you a brief description of them because there's quite a few of them. What I mean, quite a few. This is probably going to be the longest um, mystery pop-up segment that I've done. Oh, well, hopefully this will probably be the longest one. But who knows? All right. First up is a totally awesome Hulk number twenty. Totally awesome Hulk number nineteen. Totally awesome Hulk number 17. Totally awesome Hulk number 16. Totally awesome Hulk number 15. Star Wars number 28. Spider Gwen number twenty. The totally awesome Hulk number fourteen. Deadpool number thirty-two. Avengers number five. Nova number seven. Nova number five. Spider Gwen number twenty one. The Mighty Captain Marvel number five. Star Wars number 30. Justice League of America number 8. Justice League of America number 6. Star Wars number 24. Justice League of America number five. Star Wars number thirty two. Star Wars number twenty six. Cyborg number thirteen. Dark Days to Forge. Oh yeah, there's more. I bought what was left in my box over at Clint's, by the way. Dark Days to Casting. Iceman number one. X-Men Blue number six. X-Men Blue number five. <clears throat> New Superman number thirteen.
Titans number 13. Avengers number 8. Avengers number 3. Black Panther number 15. Weapon X number 4. Spider Man Deadpool number 18. Infamous Iron Man number four. Number five, rather. Deadpool number 33. Hulk number eight. Silver Surfer number seven. X Men Blue number seven. Secret Empire number six. Supergirl number eleven. Faith number 12. Faith number 11. Faith number 10. Hulk number 5. Finally, the mighty Captain Marvel number six. All right, that's 46 I bought, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 8,091. I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, reveal the books I bought this week, and if I screw up, a blooper reel. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that logo! Welcome to this week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host, Victor Nunley, and I am the Comic Hero. Coming to you from Southern Realms Comics and Games here in Reston, Louisiana. And, um, you know, last week's episode was a little touch and go. You know, and, uh, you know, it, it, I, I had to adapt to my new surroundings. And But um, I just have a feeling that this episode is going to be a whole lot better than the last one. And um, this, yeah, that's right, JJ. All right, oh, this is a, a Louisiana Tech Lady Texters themed comic hero tee, and to go along with it, this Louisiana Tech hat. Um, now, y'all probably figured out after this episode and the last episode that I'm, every shirt I'm gonna wear is gonna have something to do with the college and the high school in this area. Um, and But if you want me to represent your alma mater, whether it be near or far, let me know by commenting. Let me know. Um, contact info is down there. But anyway, speaking of t-shirts, it's time to give away a free t-shirt. All right, last week's episode, I asked, what is Peter Parker's middle name? Well, the correct answer is Benjamin. 
and nine people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, their names have been entered in the drawing. And that takes place right now. So, the winner of the free tea for this week's episode of the show is... Hey, John! You won! You won! John Presley from Westboro, Louisiana. So congratulations, John. You win yourself a free comic hero tee. And you thought it wasn't gonna happen! Hey, watch it. This is on YouTube. Anyway, here's the question for next week's episode of the show. Besides Bruce Wayne, Name at least two characters who have taken on the mound of Batman. Everyone who answers correctly will be entering a drawing for a free tea in next week's episode of the show. Now, D'Angelo Ballou from Warren, Ohio has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, and this one features a video game character going up against a classic Marvel character. Representing the video games, we have Kratos. And representing Marvel, we have Medusa. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Kratos versus Medusa. Kratos possesses agility, berserker strength, blast power, danger sense, divine powers, electricity control, energy absorption, energy enhanced strike, escape artist, feral, fire control, gadgets, healing, Ice Control, Immortality, Intellect, Invulnerability, Light Projection, Longevity, Magic, Marksmanship, Necromacy, Size Manipulation, Soul Absorption, Stamina, Strength, Underwater Adaptation, Super Hearing, Super Sight, Super Speed, Super Strength, Swordsmanship, Time Manipulation, Tracking, Unarmed Combat Skills, and is a Master of Various Weapons. Medusa is an accomplished thief who possesses prehensile hair, superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, agility, and reflexes. Who will win? You'd think this fight would be all Kratos, comparing his power set to that of Medusa's. However, this fight comes to a shocking end. Medusa tries to rely on super speed, but Kratos stays on par with her with his speed. She then tries to attack Kratos but the latter grabs her hair and starts to choke her. As a last ditch effort, Medusa tries to do the same thing with her hair. However, the latter slowly takes Medusa's hair from around his neck and begins to punch her repeatedly in the face. He then throws her to the side and conjures up enough electricity to kill Medusa. Just before Kratos attempts to electrocute Medusa, a still small voice utters, No. And a wave of destructive hypersonic energy strikes Kratos and instantly disintegrates him. The person responsible for the final blow is Black Bolt, Medusa's husband. Black Bolt wins, and that concludes this fight on the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown, Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, and if you have a fight request for future episodes, contact info is down there. Alright then, let's get to the comics of Bot this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, first up is New Superman number 12. Now, um, in this book, this is the Superman of China. Now, he was a bully named Kong Keenan, who Dr. Omen had, had um, saw something in him. Now, normally, you would never expect a bully to be the one that gets powers. You would always expect the one that, that gets bullied to get powers. It would never be somebody on the, on the giving end. It would, it, would be, it would always be someone on the receiving end. Not in this book. And, he, and then he um, teams up with the Justice League of China, which consists of him, the Batman of, uh, of China, and the Wonder Woman of China. They formed it. And um, he's gone through a lot. I mean, his father has died. And he's also been tutored by Superman. He's also part of the uh, Super Family. And, um, yeah. Alright, next up is The Flash number 27. 
This is um, a continuation of a current story arc called Running Scared. Now I'm still a little behind on, on this book because the last issue I book, I mean I read was Flash number 22, which was um, was which was the conclusion to the butt, which was a story arc that featured um, that featured him, Batman, and then um, Dr. Thomas Wayne from the Flashpoint universe. And it opens the door for a, for a miniseries coming later on this year called The Doomsday Clock. Alright, next up is The Mighty Captain Marvel number 7. Now this is a tie-in to, um, um, to Secret Empire. And uh, while Captain America has pretty much taken over the world um, as, as the new as the um, as the supreme leader of Hydra. Meanwhile, back at back in space, Captain Marvel and the rest and the rest of Alpha Flight are fighting against are fighting for their lives against the, the Chitari. And there is no way back on Earth, and there is no so they pretty much have no way out. I mean, they can't get on Earth and they can't go any further into space. All right, next up are two issues of the same book, and that's Captain America Steve Rogers. I have Captain America Steve Rogers number 18, and Captain America Steve Rogers number 19. Um, in the first um, tie-in to Secret Empire, Captain America uh, allows an, um, a, a, a news reporter to, um, to interview him, and, and he only allowed her to uh, interview her under one condition, that she doesn't mention anything about what happened in Las Vegas. And guess what she does at the very end? She mentions Las Vegas, and now she's in prison. That's not Captain America, folks. I mean, it is, but it's not him. All right, that's five I bought, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 8,096. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And here's a question again for our free tea for next week's episode of the show. Besides Bruce Wayne, name two characters who have taken up the mantle of Batman. Everyone who answers correctly will be in the drawing for a free tea in next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to John Presley from Westmoreland, Louisiana, who won a free tea in this week's episode. Uh, after I'm done taping. All right, it's birthday time here on the Comic Hero Show. And uh, happy birthday this past Sunday to uh, my good friend that I was a band with at Closure Parish Community College a few years ago, Melissa Hinojosa. Congratulate, I mean, and a uh, happy birthday this, um, this past Sunday to um, a guy that hosted one of the greatest uh, one hour sports shows ever. And um, currently a teacher over at Minnie Ruffin uh, Elementary School in, in Monroe, the professor, Nick Harrison. And uh, happy birthday this past Monday to my good friend Lynn Free, and also um, and also my friend Scott Simino, and happy birthday um, this past Wednesday to my, one of my good friends since high school, Anna Nelson, and then happy birthday to um, to one one of my relatives from Homer, Louisiana, um, Mrs. Azzy Olds, and then happy birthday this past Thursday to to my friend Demetrius Clark, happy birthday to one of my friends I was in band with at Bossier Parish Community College. Um, Leanna Cobb. Happy birthday to uh, uh, two women that I was in the class of 2000 with at Homer High School, Quintera Adams and Rebecca Bauer. And then happy birthday yesterday to one of my former co-workers uh, at my job, uh, Karen Harris. And uh, happy birthday to, uh, yesterday to my cousin, San Turner. And then happy birthday today uh, to one of my friends from Haynesville, Louisiana, Melissa Green. And then happy birthday tomorrow to uh, one, of, one of the best uh, pianists I've ever heard in my life, uh, Claude L. Bell Jr. All right. Um, now, I said uh, in a uh, Facebook Live that I did a few days ago that I was going to bring back Comically Speaking. I'm not going to talk comics today. I, I really couldn't find anything to talk about in terms of comics news, but I will have something for you all ne uh, next week, I promise. And... Um, and then here's the here's the announcement that I that, that I have. 
It, it, no, I'm not canceling the show. James, you look so disappointed. No, I, I said a while back that I would only cancel the show when I am physically unable to. All right, here's the announcement. Now, last week I did the first episode of the Comic Hero Show here. And um, I wore a Louisiana Tech Bulldog scene Comic Hero tee. Well, I made some more Comic Hero tees, um, uh, more Louisiana Tech Bulldog theme Comic Hero tees. I will have them here at the store next week. And then I'm also going to be wearing, also going to be making uh, shirts that are going to look just like the shirts that, I, that I'm wearing in every episode since I started doing the show here last week. So you're, you're also so in in the near future, you're also going to be seeing Lady Texter theme Comic Hero, Lady Texter theme Comic Hero tees as well. And then, um, and then eventually somewhere down the line, Grand Lake State University, Ruston High School, Cedar Creek School, Lincoln Prep. And if y'all have any suggestions for, if you want me to represent your alma mater, whether it be near or far, let me know, and I will make a shirt. All right, I'm Victor Nunley. I'm the Comic Hero. I'll see you next week for episode 177, right back here at Southern Realms Comics and Games. So until then, be safe, be blessed. Be a hero and go Lady Texter. week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host Victor Nunley and I am the Comic Hero. Coming to you from Southern Realms Comics and Games here in Ruston, Louisiana. And this is the second full episode of the Comic Hero Show that I've done. And um, I had a lot of fun. I mean it was a little touch and go lap. <laughs> Blooper reel. <laughs>